little break. I don't know what it is about coming to Britain that makes me want to um, open up a village shop, but that's exactly what I've done. So I have tea towels back there. They also have the gingerbread recipe on them, as well as portraits of my great-grandparents and all kinds of little drawings that I've made. And um, if you do make the gingerbread, my suggestion is that you do it on 180 fan for an hour and 15 minutes because I did that when we were in London and it seemed to work out really well. I don't think that the temperature listed for the American stove was going to work out too well for you all. So um, you might want to try it on that one. We can test it. Gabby, we might test it. And then um, we'll see if that's the best temperature because she is an expert baker. So, <laughs> um, so um, I've also got tote bags with the watercolor of the wind charger on them and they are in red and green and both the tea towels and the tote bags have once again been made in awesome merchandise in Leeds at a fair wage workplace and I've got postcards with um, watercolors of my ancestors on them I've got quilt postcards I've got a patchwork cushion I only have one left because one of them got snapped up right at the beginning of the show and um, but I've got one with a clock in a hand, kind of a mysterious one. And I've got the new CD and all the old CDs and our CD sign up list and all kinds of postcards if you want to take them away with our tour schedule and things on there. So that's all in the village shop. Now this song, what I always like to say before we play this song is um, that one time we did a concert out in California and they asked us if we would do a question and answer at the end of the concert, which is a bit unusual, but we said sure. And people asked us lots of personally invasive questions. And then one lady put up her hand and said, honey, um, did he learn how to do all that so he could travel around with you? <laughs> and I said, yes. <laughs> It was so hilarious. Um, so anyhow, but the truth be told, before I ever came along, Billy traveled all over the world playing in country bands and rock bands and India tabla quartets and all kinds of manners of things. And um, he opened for Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson and Tom Paxton. Keep going, keep going. I know. And he played on the Grand Old Opry. So, but somehow he decided to trade riding around on a big bus with five sweaty guys with riding around a little Peugeot 28 with me. With one sweet smelling gal. Yeah, most of the time. I could probably use a bath right now. But anyway, I know my clothes are going to get washed tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> so, um, so I thought you should hear a little bit of Billy's Grand Old Opry style guitar. And this is a country song that we wrote for my grandmother. It's called Nothing Left to Say. For your dancing and listening pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is a shuffle after all. Ready, one.
Thank you.